Today I'm going to be doing a review on the SOG Senti 2 folding knife. I was looking for a small knife that I can carry with me when I go running or on a hike and I don't want to carry anything big. It's just a small knife. And um, I picked this one out. It caught my eye and it's, it's pretty small. It folds and it has a lanyard loop on it or a keychain loop because it, it says on the packaging that it's a keychain size. I don't know if you'd carry it on your keychain or not, but we'll pull it out and we'll see how small it actually is. The blade length is 2.1 inches. The overall length is 5 inches and it weighs 1.3 ounces. Black oxide finish and it's a lockback knife. I'm going to open it, get into it real quick and then uh, we'll do a paper cutting test on it. Alright, it's out of the packaging now. Let's get this out of the way. So it's super light. It's only 1.3 ounces. And it's hollowed out right here. So it's a good weight reduction right there. One thing I did notice right now is the little rubber, the grip you see here. It's only on one side. The retention of staying closed is pretty good. It's pretty springy. I don't think it'll open accidentally in your pocket. Yeah, but it's a nice little knife and I plan on carrying it with me every day when I go running at night. Just in case I need it for any reason. Just a tiny little backup knife. But yeah, if you're looking for something small and you don't really care that it doesn't have the grips, I think it's a pretty good knife. And today I want to talk to you about the Dapper 150. Yeah, it's made by Keysmart. And you know, you get something lightweight with machined aluminum and ooh, look at that, stainless steel. Who doesn't like a good stainless steel? In fact, I think somewhere, I don't know if it was on the packaging that I read or maybe it's on there online. It says, never needs to be oiled. Um, I don't know what that means or what that has to do with the steel, but uh, there you go. And it was in reference to the steel, not the action, but anyways. So part of what this bugs me, so this is made by Keysmart, uh, and Keysmart is, they make those like sort of key bars that, you know, you put your keys in and they all fold into each other and it's a little bar you carry it around. I have like two keys, so I don't actually, you know, have, have never necessitated a need for one of those things, but, but that's what they are. And I've seen pictures on, on Instagram. A lot of people seem to like them and use them, whatever. So I wanted to check this out. It's 25 bucks. I thought, let me let me see what, what they're trying to sell you here for 25 bucks and if it's actually worth blade labeling, I guess, there. Uh, if, if, if you can start to give it some props for that. You do get this um, uh, aluminum handles, uh, which are, you know, they're not unattractive uh, with the little red circles there and the Keysmart logo. So let's, so let's talk specs for a minute. So overall, this is a six-inch... Uh, six knife when it's opened up. Uh, you have a blade length of 2.38 inches, a blade thickness of a seemingly slicey 0.07, and a closed length of three and a half inches here with this little Keysmart uh, pocket knife. And you have a weight of 2.98 ounces. It's so almost three ounces. Um, it is a slip joint. Um, this stainless steel is 420, according to the packaging and literature that I've read, uh, both on the paper and online. All right, here with a review from EDC fans. This is their keychain multi-tool knife. It is well built. There is like no wiggling, no slack. It is really high tolerances for what it is. Uh, really cheap on Amazon as well. It is a removable blade multi-tool. So you have spring tensioned, or I mean it's just tensioned, there are no springs, but there's some spring steel feels like, and this little hourglass shape. And that's it. That's the whole multi-tool. Uh, some wrenches built in. The sheathed tip is surprisingly sharp. Uh, it feels more like a glass break than a screwdriver. Bottle opener, belt clip. Um, you know, it's a relatively low price item, which is nice. Uh, I mean, you could sharpen it up, but I don't think you'll get a great long-term edge. I think, I think you can get it very sharp. I don't think it's a hold that edge though for very long. The feel is excellent. I mean, it feels good in the hand. It's surprisingly heavy. 
uh, in a good way. The weight is centered way up here, feels like. Um, strong, stable, like, I mean, just well made. Today I'll be talking briefly about the Gerber GDC hook knife. This blade arrived a couple days ago and so far I've been very pleased with it. Um, just like any other Gerber knife, it does what it says it's supposed to do. It cuts things. Uh, this blade's really simple um, and it's uh, 2 inches in length. It weighs .27 ounces. The steel type is 7CR17 and the handle is made out of some sort of aluminum that I uh, do not remember what the specs are. And the plastic is not any kind of plastic. Gerber gives it a certain kind of name. So uh, let's just get into it. Um, I've used this to uh, cut open boxes with tape, uh, tape alone, and actually cardboard and envelopes. Although I don't recommend this to cut open a, a, a paper envelope, and I'll explain in a moment why. Um, one thing I do not like about this blade is the fact that this dumb ring keeps on getting caught onto the blade. you got to remember to keep it flipped open if you're going to be using it. Uh, the blade comes in very sharp. However, the angle of it is also very steep. And today, we will be taking a closer look at Gerber Dime Mini Multi-Tool. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. First thing to note here is that this Multi-Tool is really small. As you can see, it's 7.2 centimeters in length and the width is about 1.5 centimeters. So it fits well into most pocket types. Let's check the weight. It weighs 68 grams, which is quite all right. Now let's check the tools. Once we open the multi-tool, we are greeted by these pliers, which are actually three different tools in one. We have the spring-loaded needle nose pliers, followed by standard pliers, and at the end we have a wire cutter tool. Small fun fact here, the pliers are actually the only tool located inside the body. All other tools are located on the outside. Here we have a bottle opener. Another thing we can see right away is the lanyard ring. And for some reason, it's considered one of the 12 tools this device offers. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure if it can consider it a tool. I guess they had to add one last thing to round up to 12 tools, and there just wasn't any space left. On this side, we have scissors, which seem quite durable, at least considering their dimensions. No issues here. Did the job just fine. Another tool we're going to check is the Retail Package Opener. Overall, I think it's a great multi-tool for an affordable price. Good news is that the included tools actually work and they work properly. 